How's it going everyone? Today's goalie tip video is about post play. Knowing how and when to hold the post when the puck goes behind the goal line is one of the most important aspects of being a successful goalie. Now I'm going to show you guys some key information about the different post moves and then I'll explain when you should get on or off the post to make as many clutch saves as possible. The first tip is to keep the controls simple. When you want to hold the post, hold the post button. When you're ready to leave the post, let go of the post button. Now last year EA added toggle features to the post controls, but this is much simpler, especially when using the reverse VH. Keep it simple. Next, let's talk about the reverse VH compared to the regular VH. 99% of your post moves should be in the reverse VH. Avoid using the regular VH and here's why. The reverse VH can auto transition to and from the post lean as the puck moves ahead or behind the goal line and this will help give you extra protection on wide angle shots. The regular VH does not. In the reverse VH you can cancel a post switch mid move with the left or the right stick. The regular VH cannot. When you switch posts you cannot do anything until you reach the other post so if you get faked out by the skater you are toast. Now I called it before the game even came out and it turned out to be true. The regular VH is useless and it puts you at a disadvantage compared to the reverse VH. But if you accidentally end up in the regular VH, use the right stick, point it towards either post and it will transition you to the reverse VH. As I said before, 99% of your post moves will probably be in the reverse VH. The other 1% is the stand up post hug. The only time I would consider using this move is when the puck is in this area right here, just to make sure you have short side covered, and you're worried about a one-timer from the center of the ice. But most of the time in these scenarios, I would prefer to be off the post, but this is personal preference. When holding the post, turn precision movement off. If you use the alternate controls, this is going to mean holding down left bumper or L1. If you use the default controls, then this is left trigger or L2. Now this allows you to do a very important goalie move, and that is the butterfly shuffle. With a quick flick of the left stick towards the inside of your post, your goalie will do a small nudge off the post. And this is going to help put you in a good position for centering passes, and it's going to keep you close enough to the post that if the puck carrier tries to attack short side from a wide angle, you can get back onto the post very quickly and easily. Now that we know how the post moves work, let's talk about when to use the post moves. Hugging the post is very situational. When the puck goes in the corner, remember that the puck carrier can't score from that angle. If there's any open players near the front of your net, stay off the post and be ready for the pass. In this play, the puck is once again in the corner and I'm in that butterfly shuffle position. Now when you see the puck carrier attack the net, that is when you need to hold the post and close the short side gap. And from this position, we're also ready to switch posts if he goes behind the net for a wraparound. Now this guy's sitting back door is the skater's responsibility, so if they're able to get the pass off, it is not our fault. For wraparounds, I like to wait until they reach the middle of the net or slightly before this line before switching posts. Keep in mind that most wraps come from the backhand as the animation is much faster than the forehand. So if there's a player sitting behind your net dancing back and forth, he probably wants to go for the backhand. Those are my post play tips for you guys. Um, I hope it helps. If you have any questions, ask away in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more goalie tips. I have more on the way for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.